Ah, to be quite honest, I think the very first time I biked, it gave a really sense of freedom. You know, as a little kid, I was a little bit scared, you know, because you, uh, you're biking, but then the very first time you bike with all these little wheels and you go out there, it's like you uh, just go into the world. And it felt like that, you know, freedom. And now, of course, biking between two meetings, empty your hat and feel the wind in your face, that's something I really like. I think it's very important that people realize that cycling is not only something you do in your free time, you can use it also to go from uh, your home to your work, to school, to do uh, shopping and it's very important that Brussels is being recognized as a city for cycling. You know, we used to be a city for cars, we are now transforming the city into a city for people and of course for cyclists. And that's what we are doing and so I'm glad you are stopping here in Brussels and giving this message to the people of Brussels and the people of Europe that the capital of Europe is finally embracing cycling as an alternative. We have uh, done a lot and uh, when we look back 15 years ago there was hardly any cycling in Brussels. Today you have lots of cyclists. We made uh, cycling lanes, first we just painted, now we're doing in a process of dedicated separated cycling lanes. We have a bike sharing system, we have everywhere in the city places where you can uh, put uh, your bikes. Uh, we, have, we are now constructing underground uh, parking lots for uh, cycling, with even a washing center for bikes. So you see we are uh, investing a lot in infrastructure, also in education, we are learning people to bike because a whole generation that doesn't know how to bike. So we are having lots of efforts to, to make uh, in uh, let's say another 10-15 years Brussels as the, the capital of many things but also the capital, the capital of cycling. But we are not there yet. <laughs> You know, I'm a politician and you know, politicians like to preach, so practice what you preach and that is what I'm doing. Uh, I use my bike a lot uh, for my work uh, activities, but also in my free time of course. Uh, I think it's good to spread the message that the objective is to get uh, healthy, the objective is to get clear air, the objective is to get a good uh, ambience in the city and you know, cars is something like a mistake of the past that we have to repair and cycling is just a way of bringing people together and one of the core functions of a city is bringing people together and you don't do that in cars you do that on a bike you do that by walking so cycling is the future